Well, hey everybody, my name is Matt Williams. Welcome to my YouTube golf vlog or golf channel, if you will. Now, just a little bit about me. I am just an average guy. I am just an amateur golfer. I'm not a teaching pro or a PGA pro or anything else. I'm just an average guy. So why in the heck should you, as a golf enthusiast or a golf lover, I don't care if you're a low handicap or a mid-range handicap or a very high handicap golfer, why should you be interested in my channel? I don't know. <laughs> That's a terrible answer. We're gonna keep the camera rolling. Look, I hope to provide a whole lot of content, which I'll explain here in a minute, but just a little bit of background on me. I live in the United States, Oregon to be more specific, but I live in the United States and I've absolutely fallen in love with the game of golf. Uh, while I've occasionally played around here or there for the last 10 years, maybe two or three rounds a year, it was only the last maybe year, almost two years, that I really started playing a decent volume of golf. Just a few years, or a couple years ago, I was about a mid-20s handicap, 24 handicap. Last year, I got down to, I was floating between a 20 and 18 to a 20 handicap. To start this year, 2020, I was a 16 handicap, and I lowered my handicap all the way down to eight and a half right now. And obviously, to me, I'm just scraping the surface. I have so much further I want to go. So that's just a little bit of background about me. So let's talk about what we're going to be doing with this channel, why I started this channel, and why I think you'll find it interesting. All right, so why do the channel? I mean, we already know there's a whole lot of men and women out there with golf channels, golf vlogs, if you will, uh, all over YouTube especially, but even on the other social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook. So what sets me apart? What makes me a little bit different? And why did I even launch this? Well, for a couple of different reasons. As I mentioned earlier, I'm an eight and a half handicap. Uh, and I've already just in 2020 lowered that down from a 16. So essentially this year, I basically cut my handicap in half through a lot of playing and a lot of practice um, and digesting a whole lot of information that's already out there like on YouTube from some incredible pros and teaching pros, you, you name it, some players that I have just absorbed a lot of information from. So that's one of the main reasons why I've been able to decrease my handicap so much. But getting back to the central question of, well, why have a YouTube channel? If you're not a teaching pro, you're not qualified to teach anybody anything, uh, you're not a, a extremely like scratch golfer or plus handicap guy that has infinite wisdom and golf experience to share. So why an average guy? I really believe that this could resonate with a lot of you. Now, some of you watching this might even be a lower handicap than me and probably be a better golfer than me. Some of you are going to be right about where I'm at handicap wise. And then there's going to be many, many of you that have a higher handicap than I do. Why launch this golf channel? Well, a couple of things, what I'm going to be doing with this. First of all, I really, honestly, I really wish I would have started this vlog last year because it would have been so much fun last year. As I mentioned already, I, I was playing between an 18 to 20 and then I got down to about a 16 all the way now down to an eight and a half. It would have been really fun to start this vlog much earlier to really document how I even got to the place that I am right now, which by the way, I concede an eight and a half, it's an eight and a half, right? But I think it would have been really good and encouraging and helpful for a lot of people to have followed this journey and followed this process. So hopefully it could translate over to impacting their own game and, and what they're uh, doing with their handicap and with their swing and everything else. So that would have been really fun. But nevertheless, here we are. I'm starting it now and I've already gotten down to an eight and a half. And, and folks, I want to get much, much lower. I want to, like all of you, I want to get much better. So I thought, we yeah, have better late than never. Let's at least start this vlog and start documenting this journey. Uh, show it, uh, people what I'm working on to try and get better. And hopefully that will help other people get better or at least encourage them uh, and let them know that, hey, you know, better days are on the horizon. If you really do put in some practice, put in the work and get, you know, some rounds in. So that's one of the things was to document my golf journey. The other thing uh, was to review equipment. Now, in terms of equipment review, drivers, hybrids, fairway woods, irons, putters, wedges, you name it, in even golf balls, 
in terms of equipment review, there's obviously a lot of people already doing this. But there was something, it was kind of a reoccurring theme as I was watching all the different, you know, outlets out there for equipment review, all the pros that are out there doing equipment review and, the, and companies that are very experienced and they have massive forms of data collection, analytics, you name it. But there was a reoccurring theme that I was seeing. They were all exceptional golfers, in most case pros, PGA professionals. I mean, exceptional, plus handicapped scratch golfers or very, very low handicapped golfers. And so as I was watching these videos of equipment review, you know, I found myself constantly saying, all right, great, that's what you're looking for. That's what feels good to you. You hit it on the center of the face a lot higher, uh, a lot, you know, greater percentage of times than I do. What, how does a golfer like me, more of an average golfer, how do they feel about clubs? How do they feel about equipment? How do they feel about drivers and balls and everything else? And so I thought maybe perhaps there could be something really useful to thousands and thousands of you out there uh, to, say, to hear the perspective on equipment review from somebody that plays a lot like you, that's somewhat average, might be a little worse than you, might be a little bit better than you, but to deliver a equipment review where I can say, this is what I'm feeling, this is what feels right for me, uh, or this is what could be right for a golfer like you, I really think there's kind of a void out there for this, even though there's loads of golfers and professionals out there reviewing equipment, I really do think that there could be something that really resonates with a lot of you with respect to hearing the perspective of a more average golfer. Yeah, um, I'm limit, somewhat limited on equipment. I'm not gonna go out and buy a GC quad right now. I'm just not gonna throw down 20 to $25,000 US to you know, have that level of analytics. I do have a little equipment that I'm gonna use. Occasionally I'll be visiting performance centers or fitting centers to uh, help really dial in uh, the numbers, spin rate, launch rate, smash, distance, carry, you name it. Um, I'll be trying to incorporate some of that data, but I'm going to tell you right now, some of the reviews are just going to be on kind of distance and feel and won't dive as deep into the numbers as some of the really brilliant equipment reviewers out there. Um, and so consequently, when I'm reviewing equipment, there'll be things that I just don't review. For instance, a lot of blades, probably not anytime soon going to be reviewing blades right uh, like the what's the new t the tailor-made p7 uh, MBs right not going to be reviewing those because first of all I've already hit them I know I don't hit them very well but B average golfers aren't going to be playing that iron so I'm not going to spend a lot of time reviewing clubs that most average golfers and equipment that most average golfers aren't going to be playing Sometimes I might review equipment uh, or golf clubs out there that are kind of gimmicky, maybe not even legal, just to see if they actually are as advertised and if they could help a mid-range to a high handicapper. Um, and then the last reason. So the first reason is to kind of document my golf journey and show you guys what I'm working on. Again, to be clear, I can't teach you anything. I'm not qualified to teach you anything, but I think I can at least share, here's what I've been working on. Here's an exercise that I've been doing and I'm really having good results with it or, or uh, I'm not having good results with it. Uh, equipment review from more of a mid-range handicapper's perspective as opposed to some scratch golfer's perspective. And then lastly, let's just have some fun on the golf course. I'm gonna be posting matches and fun things, just three hole matches, nine hole matches, 18 hole rounds of golf, sometimes just by myself, sometimes with a, some of my golfing buddies, and just try and have some fun on the golf course and really entertain the heck out of you guys. Moreover, I hope you find it helpful. I hope it's something that impacts your game. I hope it's something that can inspire you if you're a higher handicap than me. Um, you know, even if you're a lower handicap than me, maybe just maybe something I'm working on is something you haven't thought of, um, but whatever. And then the, just the overall entertainment factor. That's why we have this YouTube channel. That's why I'm doing this. And I really hope that you come along for the ride. If you're passionate and you enjoy golf, you come along for the ride, join me on this journey as we take a look at clubs and equipment and practice tips and just overall fun out on the golf course. 
I'm really excited actually. We've already started shooting some videos. Uh, content's gonna start getting loaded here really, really soon after we load this video. I'm just really excited. Uh, can't wait to see where this goes. I wanna thank all of you right now that uh, have already subscribed. If you haven't, make sure and click down there, subscribe. Go find us on Instagram too. We're on Instagram at Matt underscore Williams underscore golf. We're also on Facebook at Matt Williams golf on Facebook. And then you're also already watching this obviously on YouTube. So hope you, hopefully you subscribe, come along for this journey. Let's have a lot of fun together. And I just can't wait to share this with you.